Today I'm going to be deviating from the normal and I'm going to be talking about a preventable death. The death of Junior Pope. By now I believe all of us have heard the news, seen dead bodies of people littered on the internet. Where is your humanity to those who share those videos? And I'm going to be talking about the five factors I believe contributed to his death. Disclaimer, these are my opinions and if you do not agree with them, please leave your opinions in the comments and let's have a conversation about this. Number one, the individual himself. I know that a lot of people might frown at this, never speak ill of the dead, and I pray for the repose of his soul. But how do you get on a boat without the necessary preparations made for your safety? Humans are supposed to be inherently selfish and we should keep put ourselves first. But sometimes, and this is not to insult the dead, but sometimes it seems as if we throw our own self-preservation to the mud when money is involved. There was no life jacket provided for you. There were no divers on the sea. Yet, you took that risk to get in a shoddy boat and enter the river Niger. I know that there is nothing I will say today that will bring him back. I wish there was something I could say to bring him back. But this is the reality of death. That is the finality that is due to us all. Number two, the producer. How do you shoot a movie? How do you write a script, first of all, with the idea to shoot a movie on the river Niger without making sure that on ground are medical personnel, divers, and the most basic of all things, life jackets. If you have the budget to shoot a film, I would think that you would make the necessary preparations to buy important equipment. You bought a camera. You bought microphones. You paid the, 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 the rider who put them on the boat. Could you not also? And what vexes me is that making preparation for divers would cost you peanuts because the locals in that environment are skilled divers. And you could make sure for a measly sum. Bad as the bad, you want to pay them as much as 5,000 naira. And they would be available. Two of them, three of them, they would be available to jump into the river should any emergency occur. Last but not least, on the basic things that she could have provided, medical personnel. You think it's by calling somebody, Doki, I have stomach pain. Doki, my head is paining me. You do not see the importance of having skilled medical personnel who could provide basic resuscitation, basic life support skills to the actors should any emergency occur. You do not, you do not envisage the importance of having them on ground. So much so that this man, these people, God rest their souls, were drowning and the next thing was for them to be brought out and pronounced dead. On what metric? Are you a doctor? How did you know they were dead? Did you check their carotid? Did you check their radial pulses? What exactly did you do to confirm them dead? After putting them on the floor for a good God knows how long, you then took them to mortuaries. Because to you, they were already dead. You took them to a mortuary and they said there is still life in this world. And the next best thing was to take this person to a traditional house a juju house for what okay so in his when you had already pronounced him dead as the doctor that you are dear producer you didn't think he should be taken to the juju kingdom or the juju house for them to do their cleansing rituals it was only when they said there was life in him in an emergency situation that you thought it wise to go to a native doctor to do what? That's where first aid will be given. For goodness sake. For the love of all that is holy. Where was your brain? Number three. Actors Guild of Nigeria. 
only coming out because <laughs> the news is all over social media. And as the reactive society that we are, we must take advantage of this hashtag and show face. She's suspended. Actors Guild is made up of actors themselves. You're the ones who constantly put yourself in such situations and you did not think, how do we make sure that emergency situations like this do not occur? How do we protect ourselves? Again, self-preservation is zero. Zero survival skills. Except how do I get paid for a role? You did not put processes in place to ensure that in if this should be basic for any movie that, sh- that is to be shot in this country. You must have on ground medical personnel. Medical personnel to at least administer first aid in the case of any accident, of any emergency. Now that he has become a hashtag, you are all out in our faces telling us how she has been suspended. Nobody would do any movies with her again, even if they don't make movies with her. Would that bring back Junior Pope? Would that bring back a father to three children? Would that bring back a husband? And what happens when Nigerians in their short um, attention span forget about his death? We would see her producing movies again. And nobody would remember that that is the producer who did not make available life jackets, divers, or medical personnel for her actors. We would gloss over it as usual and it would be business as usual. Carry on. I mean, look at Dr. Wario, your blessed memory. Elevator has still not been fixed, despite the paparazzi that the <laughs> first lady came to show. Nothing has been done. This will end up as just another conversation. People will vex. People will post pictures. People will just write, oh, when I first met him, the first time I saw him... Why do we not prevent things from happening? Why are we not a preventive society? And these things cost less, they, they cost less to nothing. Less to nothing to make available. Put medical personnel there for, say, I don't know, the duration of the time and tell them, I will pay you a certain amount, just a fraction. And then we come to the federal government. I mean, we can we cannot apportion blames without also blaming the federal government at nigeria's big age big age in the lord's year 2024 we do not have emergency services helipads instead of them being on uh, being in the hospitals helipads are in politicians houses In, in the same country these people would have been airlifted paramedicals would have swung into action But in Nigeria, we don't even have paramedicals. And don't get it confused. Don't think doctors, nurses, med lab scientists, pharmacists are supposed to be paramedicals. No, paramedicals are the ones you see in these these movies where you see them, you know, administering first aid before taking the patient to the hospital. But in Nigeria, we do not understand the importance of division of labor. We lump everything together for one person. No emergency services. No vehicles, no helicopters. Because somebody somewhere has decided that the monies allocated for this will be appropriated to his own pocket. Or her own her own purse. Because somebody somewhere believes that this her own stomach and the stomach of her offspring is more important than the lives of over 200 million people. Number five, you and I, the society at large. In any event in any emergency the next thing is to bring out your phone who will get the first video who will get the best shots so that you can send it to insta blog so you can be the first to, to post it on twitter and get elon musk's money where is your humanity where is your empathy and to those of you who took pictures of dead bodies not even affording them the dignity that is due them posted it online and you call yourselves humans. You call yourselves people. Those are people. If that was you, if that was your brother, if that was your father, if that was your husband, is that what you would want to happen? And you posted it. For what? For me to see? For me to see and do what? Like retweets, reposts, drive engagement to your page. 
We should understand. The phones we are carrying could have been used to Google. How do I? How do I do CPR? How do I administer CPR? What do I need to do? Who knows? Maybe that split second Google could have saved this man's life. Could have saved all their lives. The worst thing to be in Nigeria is to be a hashtag. This conversation is one that we've had over and over and over again. To think that now somebody had to die again for Nigerians to realize that it is important for us to do the right things. It's not just the government. It's not just Tinubu. It's not just the government of Nigeria. It's not just Mohammed Ali Party. It is you and I. It is the producer. It is the Actors Guild of Nigeria. It is you as a person who brought out your phone instead of helping out. See, we as Nigerians cannot afford to take such risks. These risks are only available to a society whose government has sorted out healthcare problems. This is what Americans should do. The way they will go and climb on top of buildings and try to take dives. These are not, the, these are not things we should do. Because we still have a problem of basics. Necessities are yet to be met. You cannot go and shoot a movie in River Niger and put people in a rickety boat. And us, the people, we enter the rickety boat. May Junior Pope's soul rest in peace. May his children be given the strength to carry on as they grow up without a father. May his wife be strong enough to be mother and father for those children. May you and I understand that life does not begin and end on social media. May you and I understand that we have our own roles to play to make Nigeria better. I hope this conversation is not something we will just have and forget about in another three days when another person comes up and says, if I see the word robust in an email, I will think it's chat GPT and we forget about it. No. Let's stop let's stop glossing over 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 important things that happen in our society. Let's let's stop treating it as just another thing. You can do something. Next time you or anybody else wants to put people in a dangerous situation, put the do the necessary um, investigations, find out who is supposed to be there and make sure what is supposed to be provided is provided. Thank you for listening. And don't forget, these are my opinions. I'm angry. Everybody should be angry. You should be angry. If you do not, if you do not, you know, <laughs> if you don't think that my opinions make sense, tell me why. Let's have a conversation. Let us do the right thing as Nigerians. <laughs>